Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Claire from Yogi Bites, and this is Olivia. Olivia, and we are here for day three of your Zen challenge with the Team Yoga Foundation to help you get connected and this uh, lockdown time. So I'm going to give you lots of tips and things of ways of helping you feel um, connection with yourself as well as with other people around you because it's a strange time when a lot of us are physically separated from our friends. So the first thing that we're going to do is a mudra. It's like yoga for your hands. So come and take your hands so that they're back to back, cross them at the wrist. Hook your right index finger over the left, the right middle finger over the left, and then reach all the way around the little finger, leaving your ring finger free, and bring your ring finger and your thumb to touch. So Olivia's gonna hold it so you see what the final mudra is like, and I'm gonna talk you through that one more time. So take your hands back to back. Hook your right index finger over the left, middle finger over the left. Leave the ring finger free. Reach all the way around the little finger. Bring the ring finger and the thumb to touch. And take that to the center of your chest. In yoga, we call that the heart space. And here, this is called the fearless heart. So, because we're intertwining our fingers in this way, our bodies are connecting from one side to the other. And we're also connecting the left and the right side of the brain. Just hold it here. And bring awareness to your breath. When you get in yoga, we breathe in and out through the nose. So breathe down into your belly, up into your ribs, all the way up to the collarbones. And then let your breath let it be a really kind and soft out breath. Soften your shoulders down your back. As you breathe out, get another couple of breaths in here to feel centered and connected. So we're connecting with the breath, it gives us an anchor. It helps us feel like it's something that we can hook into and connect to. So when things are challenging, we can always, always just find our breath. And let's keep holding this mudra. So a mudra means it's like a seal or a gesture. Yoga for your hands. Yoga for your hands. <laughs> and it moves the energy in a, in a certain way in the body. We're going to keep holding it really steady, really still, and chant on together while we hold our fearless heart in our hands. So take a deep breath in. Oh. And then, oh, wiggle your fingers, release the hands, shake them out, and come and sit back so that your legs are straight out in front of you, as if you're on the beach and you can shake your legs out. Take the sand away from your toes. Take a breath in, point your toes away. Breathe out, flex them back, point them away. Flex them back, don't need to lift them up with me, I'm just showing you what we're doing. And then roll your ankles one way, and back the other way. Both of them together. And change the cross of your legs to the other side. So if you're wondering, oh, I don't know which leg I had in front, just cross your legs the way that you normally would do, and then switch it to the other side. And draw your feet in so that we can do a few stretches for the neck, which while you're sitting, doing all that work on computers, it's getting a little bit of extra strain. So take a breath in and look to your left, into the centre. Right. Keep it going. And 
come back to the centre, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Use your left arm out, grab hold. Oh, I've got it the wrong way around again. I do this every time. Take the opposite ear. And let the elbow get really heavy. You drop it down into the centre. Take it to the other side. <laughs> yeah. And back into the centre and roll your shoulders out. Make it roll one way. Backwards. Yeah, backwards and then forward. Forward. Cool. And then make your way to standing and come all the way to the front of your mat. Come and stand tall at the top of your mat. I'm going to talk you through some sun salutations. I'm just going to move the screen a little bit so that we can see all of Olivia. Root down through your feet. Keep breathing, reach your arms up, breathe out, bring them back alongside your body. Two more times, breathe in and reach up. Breathe out, reach the hands back down. One more time, reach up and back down. We're going to talk you through some sun salutations. First of all, we're going to go through them, um, just the physical sun salutations, and then we're going to add some affirmations on the next round. So as you start standing tall, bring your arms alongside the body. Take a breath in and out. And as you next breathe out, take your hands palm to palm in front of your heart. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. As you exhale, bend your knees and bow forwards and take your fingers to the floor. Breathe in and look up. As you exhale, step your left leg towards the back of the mat. Right leg back to plank. And as you exhale, come all the way down to the floor, keeping your arms strong, legs strong, reach the toes back. Curl up little baby cobra. And a little back bend. Beautiful, Olivia. And then tuck your toes and reach your hips up and back to downward facing dog. Step your left foot forwards. Step your right foot forwards. Bow in. Breathe in, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Hands together at your heart. And then hands alongside the body. Okay, so now you've got that. We're going to try to do it with some affirmations. So I'll remind you of what the physical poses are and Olivia will shout some affirmations that we will we will follow so as you stand tall at the top of your mat i'm a person i'm a person put your hands to your heart i'm important i'm important all the way up i'm special i'm special not because of what i have not because of what i have right leg back not because of what I do. Not because of what I do. Left leg back. Not because of how I look. Not because of how I look. Just because I am. Just because I am. <sighs> Curl up. So. Just because I am. Just because I am. All the way to down, dog. <sighs> Not because of how I look. Not because of how I look. Right leg forwards. Not because of what I do. Not because of what I do. Left foot forwards. Not because of what I have. Not because of what I have. I'm special. I'm special. I'm important. I'm important. I'm a person. I'm a person. And then come and give everything a, a good shake. Oh, and we'll do the other <laughs> Surya 
now it's got a different variation of sun salutation, which doesn't have any affirmations to go with it. So stand tall at the top of your mat. Breathe in, reach your arms all the way to the sky. Take your hands together, down the center line, tone your belly and bow in. Fingers to the floor. That's it, bend your knees. Bend your knees so your fingers reach the floor and then bend them a little deeper and look up. And step back to plank. Exhale, come all the way down to the ground. Reach your feet back, press them into the earth. Breathe in, lift your heart up, little cobra. Tuck your toes, take it all the way back to downward dog. We're going to hold it here for three to five breaths. So spread wide through your hands. And claw the mat with the tips of your fingers. Spread out wide through your fingers. Keep spreading wide, even though it's challenging. Press down. <laughs> Bend your knees, look between your hands. And step forwards. Bow in, reach down through your feet. Reach your arms all the way up. Keep your back as straight as you can. And then exhale your hands to your heart. And we'll try that. One more time. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart. And exhale, soften. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky. Bring the palms together. Exhale, draw them down through your center line and bow in. Bow in. Bend your knees. Fingers to the floor. Step or jump back to plank. Your choice. As you exhale, come down, might be halfway or all the way down. Reach your feet back, curl up. Exhale it back to downward facing dog. And then again, we'll hold this for five breaths. Be as still as you can. Find your foundation. So really reach down through your fingers. So soften your knees, bend them a little bit, and reach your hips up to the sky. Can you stay connected with your breath here, even though it's starting to get a little bit challenging and a little bit difficult? So it's great practice. Even if you feel that you can't, draw your awareness back to your breath. Bend your knees, look between your hands, and step or jump your feet forward. Bow in. And reach down through both feet. Inhale your arms wide, all the way up to the sky. Exhale it down to the heart. And then take that fierce heart mudra again. So cross your hands back to back. Put the right index finger over the left. Middle finger and little finger. And bring the ring finger and the thumb all the way to touch. And then hold it in here as you stand at the heart. And tune back in with your breath. I'm going to take you through a series of standing poses. Okay. Oh, you no, I was just facing forwards. Uh, okay, but we can't. Yeah. So. First of all, wrap. Cross your legs and tuck the foot behind so that your legs are in an eagle and then hug yourself, put your arms up and join them so that your hands, so your hands are together into full eagle. You can just do this with your foot if you need to. Then you're going to slowly unwrap your hands and your legs and move into tree pose with your foot on your leg. <laughs> you can have your arms out to the side or up, up at the top or you can have your hands in front of your heart. Next, move your 
your lift your leg full up forwards and put it and push it out behind you. Let let it letting go of your hands if you're there together and hold and using one of your hands to hold on to the back foot so that you're in dancer. So it can simply be really close to your it can simply be really close to your body or it can be a real back bend depending on what is easier for you. <laughs> then <laughs> then lift then gently move let go of your leg lean forwards and let your legs straighten out as much as it and let your legs straighten out sort of behind you so that you are in what is known as either aeroplane or warrior three then step back from your aeroplane front and put your and put your index fingers together like this and lift them above your head. Bend your back into the pose to create a crescent moon. Next, move slightly. Next, move your back foot so that you are in warrior two. So, stretch your arms out on either side. Breathe in and out. Next, bend your back leg as well as your front leg so that you are in so that you are in goddess. And both your legs so you're in goddess, a wide leg, a wide legged squat. You can put your hands together in front of your heart like this. Out to the side again, or again up with your clasp together with your index fingers touching. Move, swap legs so that you're once again in warrior two. Then move your back foot so that it's facing the same way as your front foot. Then curve your back into crescent moon, and then move back into warrior. Lean forwards gently and, and lean forwards gently, lifting your back leg. Lean forwards gently, lifting your back leg into aeroplane or warrior three. Move your, one of your hands back to grab hold of the leg and move again into war into dancer mm -hmm. you can use the wall for support or your friend for support if you need to once again you can make it as much or as little of a stress of a stretch as you wish once again you can make it as much or as little of a stretch as you wish put your foot once again on your leg into tree pose and then wrap your leg around and tuck if you can or simply place by the or simply place by your foot hug yourself lift one arm up and then the other and join the hands into eagle once again on the other side and when you're ready well yeah and then untangle your legs and your arms and stand back into mountain Take your fearless heart mudra and stand tall as you reconnect back in with your breath after the challenge of that sequence. Keep making your breath into an anchor. Make your way, your way back to downward facing dog on your mat. And spread your fingers wide. Again, like the, like the rays of the sun 
I'm just gonna fiddle a little bit again with the, with the view on the camera. Walk all the way forwards to plank. And very gratefully, take your knees down and sink your hips back. Oh, child pose. This is a great place to be, child pose, and it's fine to work here during class anytime you need to. And stay connected with your breath. So let your breath connect once again. Did you know that 60% of the lung tissue is on the back body? So you can breathe really big, puff up your back and even use your back to help with that breath connection. And the more that we connect with the breath and slow down our breath, the more we can let our nervous systems have a little bit of a break. So come and slide all the way forwards onto your belly. Release your feet back behind you. Bring your hands alongside your ribs. There. Press the feet down really fiercely. Look at the floor. Look at the floor. And so you feel your shoulders lift first and then curl up. Keep looking at the floor. Keep looking at the floor as you curl into cobra. That's it. And then when you reach your extension, then you can look up. And then release your head down. Keep your left hand where it is and stretch your right arm out to the side in line with your shoulder. Spread out wide through the fingers and push your palm into the floor. Keep that and roll onto your right side, keeping your legs together. So this is going to be a really nice shoulder stretch. <laughs> if it's a bit much for you, then you can stay here. We'll lift up your top leg and step it behind you. Onto the floor, fantastic. So that might be enough for you. Some of you might be e able to even meet up and around and interlace your fingers, which Olivia can do, but I can tell you I can't do this variation of the pose. So not all of us can do it. It's a bit fine. Yeah. Take another breath here. Up oh, and come back to centre. Bring your hands back into that cobra position again, let us say. You can add a little gentle back bend here. Spread those fingers wide, yeah. And then release it all the way down. Stretch your left arm out this time and roll on over onto the left side of your body. Right, squeeze your legs together really fiercely, like interconnecting those parts of the body. And step your right leg behind you. So if that's too much, then you can have the legs together and that's fine as long as you don't overbalance. And here with the leg behind, you might want to stay there or you could interlace the hands. If you have a belt or a tie or something that you're not using at the moment, <laughs> then you can use that as well to hold between the hands. This is and, much easier than the other side. And then release it all the way down. Come back onto your belly. <laughs> And one last cobra pose to curl up into cobra. And release it down and come and lay over onto your back. Roll all the way over onto your back. Oh, a last. But it's not quite a last, you've still got a little bit to do. Take the soles of your feet to the floor so that your knees point to the sky. And bend your elbows alongside your body so that they are like cactus arms, like this. And um, yeah, no, not quite cactus, like robot arms. So they're pointing up to the sky. And palms together as if you're holding a big beach ball. Squeeze your elbows in alongside your body. There you go. Palms to the sky. Elbows to the floor. That's it. And keep pushing your elbows down. Push your shoulders down, push your head down, push your feet down and breathe in and lift up through your hips. 
Push your feet down into the floor, lift your hips a little higher. And you might like to stay here. Some of you might be able to do what you just did and interlace the hands behind the back, but keep the wrists really anchored to the floor. And then as you exhale, release your hands. Come all the way down again. Take your feet wide, arms out, uh, feet to the floor still lift. You said feet wide. Yeah, and wide. Not that wide. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now reach your arms out to the sides. And drop your knees over to your right side. Arms up, knees to the right. Breathe into the centre. Stay connected with your breath. So breathe, your, breathe in and bring your knees back. And breathe out and drop your knees to your left. And breathe in and bring them to the centre. And breathe out and drop them to the right. Keep the feet wide apart. Keep it going with your breath into the middle, out from side to side. And the next time you've taken your knees to the left, All the way back to the centre, hug your knees into your chest. Roll to the side and come all the way up to sitting. So come and sit with your legs crossed once again. Take a big breath in here, and as you breathe out, turn your belly, ribs, and chest to your right side. Look over your shoulder and breathe into the middle, out to the other side. And keep it going your own time with your own breath, breathe into the middle, out from side to side. Next time you lean to your left, come back to the centre, stretch your legs all the way out in front of you. And sit up tall here, so try not to slouch down, but reach all the way up. Re-establish that connection with your breath. Breathe a big full breath in. As you breathe out, walk your hands out in front of you, alongside your shins, flex your feet. So you might be able to take hold of the outside edges of your feet if they're available, or maybe your hands were alongside your shins. And let your head reach down the general direction of your legs. Close your eyes. With every breath in, you're steady and brave. With every breath out, let yourself soften a little more. Keep it going. And walk your hands back. Cross your legs. Take a comfortable seat, so if you need to sit up on something or sit on a chair, then you can do that. We're going to do an exercise that's called square breathing. And once we've done our square breathing, we're going to come down onto the back of the Shavasana, final relaxation. So if you want to get socks and jumpers and warm bits and pieces, then you can go ahead and do that. Now's the time to take the things that you need and pop those to the side. 
So I'll talk you through the square breath first, and then we're going to dive right in and do it. So square breath, so you imagine your breath as a square. So we inhale, we're going to do it for a count of four. So we'll inhale for a count of four, hold it for a count of four, breathe out for a count of four, hold that for a count of four. If you've got any problems with your heart, your blood pressure, uh, anything like that, then don't hold your breath. And if you're not comfortable holding your breath, then it's fine to um, just breathe in and out with a count. So let's try it. Close your eyes, put your hands on your knees. If you like this mudra, then you can take this mudra again. Let your eyes close, become aware of your breath, and breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, breathe out, two, three, Four and hold. Two, three, four. Keep going. Making the count your own. Take one more round like this. We go back to a count of four as you breathe in, four as you breathe out. And let go of the count. And come and lay all the way down on your back. To relax. And bring yourself with whatever you need. Look you through short relaxation and lay down. You can lay on your back, you can lay on your front, you can lay in any position that feels comfortable for you. As long as you can close your eyes and stay really, really still. So it's really important to be warm and covered in blankets. Your eyes closed. <laughs> and in your head, repeat after me. I relax my feet and my legs. My feet and my legs are relaxed. And I relax my hips. My bottom, my hips, my bottom are relaxed. I relax my tummy and my chest. My tummy, my chest are Relax the whole of my back. Whole of my back is relaxed. I relax my fingers, hands and arms. My fingers, hands and arms. Oh, relaxed. 
I relax my shoulders. My shoulders are relaxed. I relax my neck, skull and brain. My neck, skull and brain. Oh, I relax my entire body. My entire body is relaxed. I feel calm, peaceful, and relaxed. And stop talking, stay in your relaxation. I'm going to bring you back out of it in a little while. Gradually bring your awareness back to the room around you. Bring your awareness back to your connection with your breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll out your ankles and your wrists and have a big stretch. Mm. Hug your knees into your chest and roll to your right side. Just press down through your hands and all the way back up to sitting. <laughs> Reconnect back in with your breath, find that connection. So we're still all connected through the thread of our breath, even though we're not physically in the same room. Bring your hands together and we'll chant one really sweet, kind, brave on to finish this physical practice. So take a deep breath in. Oh. Bow your head to your beautiful, brave heart. Mm. Thank you very much. Everybody, I've been asked to give you like a well-being tip and a challenge as well while we're here. So I have something to invite you to do. It kind of works on both levels and that is to create your very own lockdown journal. So it's a little bit like a diary and you can have this as a formal written journal or you can do it as a blog or if you want to you can do it as a vlog and in this journal or in this blog or vlog every day you Start the morning with four questions. So question number one is, what am I grateful for today? It's really hard to feel grateful in difficult times. So you might have to scratch your head to find something that, that works for you. And sometimes I just write, I'm grateful for chocolate because I'm always grateful for chocolate. Yeah. And, um, or, you know, I also feel very grateful for my family. The um, kittens. The kittens, yeah, well, our little cats. Um, so there are all kinds of, of things. If you scratch your head, you just want one a day. 
what am I grateful for today is your first question. Second question, who am I going to connect with today? So as well as, you know, your family, the people around you, who else are you going to connect with who's outside of your immediate family? It could be in a WhatsApp, it could be a chat. Who is it you're going to connect with? So you're making a commitment to connect with somebody. Now there's number two, okay? Who am I going to connect with today? The third question in your journal is how will I help someone today? Now you might want to help your mum, you might want to help your dad, you might want to help a sibling with their homework, maybe you'll talk to your parents about helping out somebody who's in isolation with some shopping, whatever it is, who are you going to help? So even if it's just picking up stuff off the floor in your room to help your mum out. One thing a day. And finally, so we've had, what am I grateful for today? Who will I connect with today? How will I help someone today? Number four is, how will I help myself today? What will I do myself for a little bit of self-care? So you might practice a little bit of yoga, you might have a bar. What will you do to make yourself feel a little bit better in that day? So you have those four things, four questions, and you can do them as a journal, you can write them, you can do it as a blog, you could do it as a vlog. And that's your well-being tip and your challenge is not only to undertake your own journal, but see if you can help an adult that you know do one themselves. Even maybe they could get them to do a blog. So that is your challenge, okay? And good luck. I hope to see you again along the way in this wild ride we're having through lockdown. And thank you for visiting the Teen Yoga Foundation YouTube channel today. And thank you very much, Olivia, for like wonderful teaching and demonstrating today. Thanks, guys. Take care. Thank you.